Joined by nose tackle Brandon Meebay, now in your 10th season in the NFL. What's the best part about being in the trenches, about being up front like that? Uh, you know, you're going to gonna for sure get some action. You don't know what action you're going to get, but you're going to get something. And it's always live bullets flying. You know, it's always... It's, it's, it's a tough business. It's, it's a tough job on the inside. The, the main thing you, you know you have to do is uh, be very consistent up there. Uh, be very consistent up front. It, it'll go through all throughout the whole defense. But you're also durable. So what's like your biggest thing? Like you won't go a week without something. Uh, I say probably like my normal ticks. I, I try to get on those every night. Are you also yeah. like a pedicure guy? Like a... Yeah, but my toes ain't the prettiest. So, but you know, when they scrape on the bottom of the feet, though, that's 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 the, that's the best. And the get massage. you ready for the next week. And a massage. Yeah. Something I can't go about without for a long time is a massage. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing too. All right, you're a Super Bowl champion. There are some guys in this locker room that haven't even been to the playoffs. Right. How does being a Super Bowl champion change you as a player, and how do you impart some of that to these other guys? Well, you know, when you when you're a champion, uh, champions come to work every day. You know. It's going to be a days where you don't want to come out and practice. It's like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. But, you know, when you got your brothers around you, man, you're like, man, he depending on me, I'm depending on him. That's what, you, you know, you tend to go to work for, it, man. It's just that bond you create on and off the field. And, you know, that's where the championship is just won, you know. Is there anyone in this locker room that surprised you, that you thought of him maybe one way coming in, but then you met him and you went, oh, he's totally different than what I would have expected? No, no not really. I knew, I knew like one guy like Philip. I knew how he was a smart, a great quarterback. Yeah. But I don't think people give him as much credit as he deserves. I think he's top three quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. He's what you want in a quarterback. You know, he's a he's a field general. Yeah. You're a father of two. How yeah. has fatherhood changed you over the years? Uh, I think it it, it changed the uh, you know way I look on things, on life, uh, the way I go about things on and off the field. Just, you know, responsibility has changed, you know. Yeah. Um, getting my kids to bed on time, uh, giving her, giving my daughter a bath, my son a bath. You've been described just this week as a tree stump and a fire hydrant. <laughs> Do you have a preference? Is there, is there one you would take over the other? I mean, a fire hydrant is probably harder to move, okay. you know. It's, you, you need heavier equipment to take a fire hydrant out. I, I, I think I like fire, I like the fire hydrant. You're known for your belly roll. Do you have any advice to the, the dads at home watching, maybe with like their beer bellies? Any advice of like how they can they can do this better? Do some hip ex ex exercises. <laughs> do hips exercises. A little technique to it, right? Yeah, yeah. All hips. Right. Uh, don't do too, don't do no abs. You do the abs, the stomach gonna go away. Just do hip exercises and you'll be fine. Yeah. Wise words right there. Yeah.